Hey guys, it's Skybird, and I've started to design a mask for 2008 Bionicle. I have a lot of people in my comments ask me, hey, why weren't you working for LEGO in 2007 or 2008 and stuff? And it's like, well, for one thing, <laughs> I was like 15. Maybe. Maybe if I was even that old. I don't know. Uh, but before we get into that, I wanted to chat for a handful of minutes about the Nuva masks in general. Uh, I don't have a real distaste for them. I do think that they venture pretty far from their source material in some situations, but I do like the masks. Uh, and I think that there are a lot of people out there that, you know, Arguably, the Nuva masks are controversial, I guess, right? They have a very organic feel compared to the masks that came previously. Understandable. If you're going to knock the masks for that, I get that. You know, and again, some of them don't look a whole lot like their original masks. I think there are aspects of each one that you could point out and say, hey, you know, that was very clearly on the first mask or is reminiscent of something on the first mask. Uh, but again, that's few and far between depending on the mask you're looking at. The third reason, though, I think people dislike the Nuva masks, though, is honestly because I think it's just popular to dislike the Nuva masks and people like the bandwagon, this kind of stuff. It's like pineapple on pizza, right? Um, with all of that said, now that everybody's unsubscribed, since I said pineapple on pizza is pretty all right. <laughs> um, yeah, no, so I, I'm actually, okay. This is actually the very first mask I ever owned from Bionicle. If there was a little bit of a story time, I think I was like maybe seven, maybe eight. I honestly don't know. Uh, and yeah, it would have been my birthday. I was given like 10 bucks to just go into the store and pick out whatever I wanted. And there was a feature, a, 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 a display of Bionicle sets back in 2001 in my local Walmart. And I remember it distinctly. It was right there in the center aisle. I saw Tahu right there on the top shelf, or at least what was eye level top shelf to me. Uh, and yeah, I was like, oh, that one looks cool. I mean, they all look cool. And I didn't know what they were. I'd never seen any of the commercials at this point. Uh, but yeah, I saw it and I was like, that looks so good. And so I bought it and that, that's, uh, that's where it all began. Um, and I don't regret that. Uh, it really did. There's something about the way that these looked and the, on the canisters, just everything. They did a really good job. But point being, I could ramble, <laughs> um, is I think they did an excellent job upgrading this mask for 2002. Do the masks look the same? No, but yes, kind of. Here's the thing, right? To me, I always envisioned the Toa Nuva masks as having sort of melted or something, right? Now, I don't exist in the Bionicle storyline. I don't know exactly how the masks are made or if there's like an inner structure and an outer skin that's put up. Like, I, I don't know, right? But here's the way I look at this. It almost looks like that inner structure, if there is one, has started to kind of expand from the chemical reaction with the protodermis or whatever, right? Whatever you want to think of it as. You know, and, and has sort of melted this mask and the skin of the mask has sh just sunk into all of the areas between that. But the craziest thing about this, I think, is that if you actually ignore the high points on the mask for a minute, like all of the points where there are raised edges and you just follow the profile of the mask, it lines up perfectly with the original mask. So like... These are all like raised edges over here. If you were to cut that off, again, you, you kind of see where I'm going with this, right? You cut the same thing around the eyebrow area off, the same thing with this up here. You can see that we have a little bit of that head scoop up here. The eye shape is almost the exact same with these eyes being just a little bit bigger, which makes sense. Proportionally, this mask is larger. You would probably want more eye holes. And again, there's also no holes in the cheeks and stuff elsewhere. So again, getting as much light through there as possible is probably a good, uh, good option. But yeah, all of that, even, you know, the edge around the eyebrow that cuts around the side of the mask as well mimics the shape of the cutaway uh, around this area of the mask where the uh, little slits in the cheek are. So, and again, looking at it from the side, they even have the same sort of like parabolic, no, not parabolic curve. What is that? That S curve kind of, anyway, you get the point. So though I don't think every mask quite meets or reaches this potential i think honestly you really couldn't have done better if you were going for this aesthetic specifically if you were going for a mask that looked like it had melted that it had been in a reaction of some kind and that's what it looked like when i first saw it it was like that mask literally looks like it came out of a fire but in a good way it's a fire toa right now it's not my favorite of the nuva masks that award actually goes to the Miru Nuva, the very first one that I ever saw. And the only reason that I think I like this one as much as I do, even though this is pretty far away from the original source, I'll grant you, but is because this mask 
reminded me of something when I was a kid. Um, so a couple of houses down, we had a sweet gum tree. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a it's a tree with some star shaped leaves and then these little spiky ball fruit that you, you remind you of like a pine cone, but they're not related other than being trees, you know. <laughs> um, and so it reminded me of that because the shape of the leaves is very similar to this, right? And since I see this as not just an air character, but also a character that lives in the jungle, like that sung to me. I loved that. Uh, he has my personal favorite weapons from Bionicle. So like he was, although at the time, not my favorite Toa Nuva, I think that went to Onua Nuva for some reason. I still don't know why. I love Onua Nuva. But uh, yeah, Liwa Nuva has since overtaken that spot. Tahu's definitely a close third, I think. With all of that out of the way, though, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I went ahead and sort of sketched out, designed, if you will, drew a uh, version of the 2008 owl mask in how I would do it as a noble and as a, a Nuva mask, right? Or an adaptive mask. Now, the, the noble mask isn't perfect because I didn't start out with it as a noble mask, but it's on the left here. That mask is more reminiscent of the Haumata being that sort of half oval shape or egg shape, whereas the Hau Nuva has more of like a like a bell shape to it. It's it's a trapezoid, but it kind of curves outward toward the bottom. It flares out a little bit like a bell. Um, and so that's what I did for both. And I really like them. Now, if I was going to diminish any features on the noble version of the mask on the left, I would reduce the height of the fin. We know that the how Mystica got that sort of head fin, and I wanted to pay homage to that. I don't hate it by any means, although I think it's a little too large here. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I got that on the how adaptive version but for this version specifically i went ahead and just decided to diminish it so i would actually cut off most of that fin i would leave a little strip down the down the you know down the center second um and i'm going to show you a sketch that rothenak did of this mask as well after i had uh after i had drawn it so shout out to them but um the other thing that i wanted to uh, let's actually look at it now so the way that they drew this mask, I really like this aspect right here, where this visor was on mine was just a visor. But here, it almost looks like, like the head of a torpedo. And my thought is that, like, yeah, it's got this torpedo body, then a gap so that light can show through that little uh, uh, scoop area. And then it tapers to a point at the front. And I really like that aesthetic much more, I think, than what I had ended up coming up with here. So I think I'd keep this version of it for the noble mask but then allow the the adaptive mask to have more of that sort of half half torpedo kind of shape there. I really like the aesthetic of that. Third, I would probably get rid of the upper portion of the brow here, although I'm not positive I would do that, or I would just make it thinner uh, and more of like a straight line, whereas I think this one would curve and be a bit heavier because uh, the How and the How Nuva both are known for that iconic kind of eyebrow shape. Um, and the How Nuva, it's actually not as prevalent, but it's thicker. It, there's more substance to it there. And so I would want to represent that, I think, more closely. Uh, fourth, you can see here, I kind of taper out the cheeks. I think I would just get rid of the taper there at all and just make it a straight line, straight down to the sides. So again, it's more of that egg shape versus the bell shape from the original. And then five, I maybe would get rid of the little tabs on the bottom of the original or of the noble version, whereas I would keep them on the new on the on the I keep mixing up the words you know what I'm saying though on the adaptive version here I really love this eye shape too uh the larger eyes here and again I would keep those I think I would make these a little tiny bit smaller and a little more aggressive as well this one though I like the larger eye holes specifically but that's honestly pretty much it the only other thing I did was I drew these little bumps on the side here which I would get rid of on the noble mask and I drew them really poorly <laughs> on the uh, adaptive mask and I would keep them there except I think I'd make them a little bigger and as you can see from the side of the mask although Rothenak fe favors more um, geometric shapes from what I've seen from their uh, their designs so it's it's a lot more jagged a lot more angular which is makes sense it's 2008 right that's a lot of masks are like that um, I think I would smooth it out a little bit so at the very least this little bit of a curve right here would be more substantial rather than just being a line that butts into another line if that makes sense and again that's sort of to follow that s curve shape 
honestly that's pretty much it and yeah we've basically rambled for the last 10 minutes so if you guys did enjoy this video i enjoyed making it i like i said i drew that literally while i was on the phone yesterday i ended up actually drawing a torso design too to replace the makuta mystica torso but also still function with the rib cage thing i don't like how it came out because i did recognize a flaw with it after the fact after designing it uh, but yeah it's still really cool and i'm gonna play around with it and then maybe i'll show you guys that in another video but that's pretty much it for this one if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe it really helps out the channel lately youtube uh, has been kind of just put, putting its foot down on the channel on the impressions especially so we have not been getting our impressions out quite as good quite as well as i would hope but no big deal. Uh, with that said, though, you can always help by sharing the video if you'd like to, or uh, just make sure to check out Discord and Instagram in the description below, and let me know what mask you'd like to see me overhaul next in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.